What up, y'all? It's TBiz again, and we got some more reaction figures, some more Thundercats Wave Two. This is this is awesome. I don't. It's funny because I, I thought this wave was like, man, there's a lot of figures, but it's the same amount as the first wave, and it really is. And then there was a uh, few variants that came out in between there, like with the Red Lion and stuff. But uh, I can't dip into every variant, but I'm stoked I got this wave too. It's really cool, um, man. It's just. Let's just start off checking them out in the card first. Once again, got some amazing card art. Um, man, Mummer looks really, really cool. Uh, here's a look at the back of the cards. There's Wave 1, Lion-O, Panthero, Mumra, Chitara, Slythe, and Jackal Man. Uh, it's funny because they have them. It, sh it should say uh, actual figure uh, Mumra's staff and Yaga do not glow. They just have like an, an aura about them, or at least his staff and Yaga himself. Some more in the background or just all displayed together, which we're going to have to do at the end of the video. But yeah, the card art is always amazing. I remember somebody put or uh, mentioned who did the card art for these, but I forgot on that old video. I have to look back at the comments, I believe. Let's go check that out. Monkey in here. We have Monkey in. That's rad. Man. But just skim over the cards real quick because the whole thing is uh, just ripping them out and checking them out, man. No man of Hook Mountain. One of my personal favorites. We got Tigra. That's awesome. Ah, oh, it's gonna be sweet, man. Here's Yaga. That's cool, man. Really nice art. And Groon the Destroyer. That's cool too, man. Yeah, there's no way I was gonna pass this wave up. So let's uh, go ahead and rip them out. And here they are, folks, out of their cardboard prisons. Man, these, these are really great figures, man. Especially, uh, yeah, they're really nice. Here's uh, the Snowman at Hook Mountain. Comes with a spear. Really nice spear. Simple, but cool. Looks like ice. It's really rad. And um, once again, you get pretty much standard articulation. It's cool because um, this helmet snaps on pretty well. You can actually see where uh, there's little divots in there or whatever to, for his ears to go in fit snugly so that's cool really great sculpt um on these figures see the hair right there just real nice man they did it's funny about reaction figures they can either be like really dumpy or just like really just nice they, they've really there's you have just several different balances and stuff because you can get more of like you know like the simple king diamond which is kind of you know it's cool but kind of silly in his own way no offense to King, but and then you get you know these other figures that have uh, really nice sculpts, especially like the um, like the Mars Attacks figures. Man, it's just yeah, it's it's nuts, man, it's nuts. Anyways, here's Tigra. I really love the way Tigra looks. The blues are way different. It's kind of almost like a a dingy blue on his um, real dingy light blue on most of his um, like arms and legs. And just there's a lot of different colors involved in this figure, man. It's really cool. It's one of my favorite Thundercats. This cool bolo weapon. Just these little beads right here. That is cool, man. Really nice. Man, really nice, dude. Really cool. Yeah, that's rad, man. I'm stoked. I'm stoked for these. This is really cool. Wonder if we'll get Wily Kid and Wily Cat. That'd be rad. And Vulture, man. Looking forward to that too. Um, here's Yaga. Yaga looks kind of silly, so they look kind of funny because he's got these boots. These like cheerleader boots. He's like old school, like, I don't know, like majorette cheerleader boots or whatever. And then he's got this crazy, like, leotard onesie thing with, you know, his man boobs sticking out. But the the shading and the light or whatever, just like, look at his chest. Look at that. It's just like, just like shadows that just looks really cool just the sculpt on his chest this is the way it's defined it looks really rad so you gotta kind of take that back making fun of his costume but the face sculpt is just really phenomenal really nice once again you get the cheesy old school vinyl cape nice sword just really cool man really nice and here's Groon the Destroyer he's got his uh mace or morning star whichever you want to call it it seems like a separate piece attached, but don't really want to mess with it too much. Pauldrons are rad. You got these like skulls. 
spikes, everything spiked on his belt buckle. Just really cool. I actually had this vintage figure years back and ended up selling it. Head seems a little tight, like it doesn't want to move, but I don't really want to mess with that. But yeah, really cool, man. They, man, once I saw this wave hit like a week ago or so, I was like, there's no way I'm not going <laughs> to jump into this. And um, immediately opened up my Super 7 box. I saw this Mumra and I was like, dude, he is so cool. This is a really nice Mumra. Really cool for this, uh, like 3.75, three and three quarter, whatever. Like, yeah, it's really nice Mumra, very cool. God, that's awesome. I wonder if they'll make a glow variant. That'd be cool, make a glow in the dark variant of this guy. That'd be really rad. And, um, or maybe a translucent, that'd be kind of cool too. I'm not big on variants, but with Mummer, that'd be kind of neat. His staff looks awesome, much like the classics and stuff. Yeah, this is rad. He, he looks awesome. He's probably one of my favorites out of this line. I mean, him, they all look really good. That's the whole thing about this wave. Now we have Monkey in. I know, uh, I believe my brother, uh, Dr. Twisted, he, uh, likes him some Monkey in. I believe well who doesn't but uh it's cool they put a chain on his morning star mace whatever you want to call it real it's nice and spiky I like the plastic they used for this a really nice sculpt once again just unique sculpt just man just all these guys a little movement on his head so yeah you do get the five points I mean, not much but you know it's still cool though it's just Oh, it's great great figures man really good figures and um yeah that's that's this wave two now i guess we'll go ahead and uh get all the figures out and check them out all together all right folks and here's uh waves one and two you got waves one in the back and wave two in front awesome man really awesome and once again it's it's with much dismay that yeah we're not gonna see you know any masters of the universe uh you know reaction figures we know we didn't see that finished out um but we are getting thundercats which is cool and it'd be cool to see more characters uh but this is a healthy little collection right now and it'd be awesome to see more and yeah they just look amazing and and, and what i like about these people are always going to complain about prices it's understandable i get it i get it but i would rather have these right now then try to go recollect all the vintage stuff complete on card not on card incomplete good condition crap condition whatever it's this is a lot easier to me to just be able to get these versus trying to really hunt down on ebay or whatever or thrift stores or garage sales or whatever trying to get all the you know old thundercats and stuff like that or even the classics i mean the classics are actually pretty cool i had some of them sold them Tempted to try to get in those again because they got that awesome thunder tank they're gonna do super seven's gonna do that thing it looks sick it's ridiculous anyways but these are pretty affordable somewhat you know and yeah i dig them I, I love this wave it looks awesome they look all rad together waves one and two and i look forward to more heroes and villains if they keep this going and don't lose the license and yeah that'd be really really awesome once again Thanks for everybody tuning in. Um, I'm not on Facebook, but shout out to the Reaction Figure fans on Facebook and all that. And yeah, shout out to all my uh, Reaction buddies and three and three quarter, three and three, uh, three point seven five uh, uh, homies and friends, fans. Uh, yeah, everybody, man, always tuning in, always appreciate it. And um, yeah, this is a killer wave. Can't wait to see what uh, is coming out next. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. All right, later.